Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Celestial Storm Build and Battle Box. This pre-release kit I did purchase off of eBay for $24.99. Inside the Build and Battle Box, you get four Pokemon booster packs of Celestial Storm, an online TCG code card, and then a 23 card evolution pack which includes one of four pre-release promos. The four pre-release promos available for Celestial Storm would be Manectric, Kyogre, Delcaddy, and Celestila. The idea with these pre-release kits is you get one to open up when you go to a pre-release tournament, and then you try and build a 40 card deck with the cards in the Evolution Pack and the booster packs. So the plastic is off of the pre-release kit. You just slide it open like so and open it up. See which pre-release promo that I was able to get. I did get the Del Caddy. I'm actually going to keep this entire 23 card evolution pack sealed. That also includes the online TCG code card. Most of the cards inside here are duplicates, which help build a deck. And then here are the four Celestial Storm booster packs. Would love to pull out Rayquaza GX. And then of course there is the rules to building the deck for the pre-release tournament. So I am going to just start with the booster pack opening already. Jirachi on this one. I have won the last couple of pre-release tournaments that I went to at the Dork Den. Usually the decks that you build at those tournaments, the simpler the better. I'm not a huge fan of those events, however, just because there's not much strategy involved. Wingle starts the very first pack, certainly not hoping to get shut out from the four packs. Trico, Voltorb, Sneasel, Dot, Grass-type Energy, Super Scoop Up, Weepin' Bell, Friend Ball, a decent way to get Psychic type Pokemon in play if you're using Tapu Lele GX in a deck, for example. Explode would be the Reverse Holloway Rare, a good start to the opening. And the final card would be Sceptile, a great defensive type of Pokemon to go against Ultra Beast. Blaziken on the cover artwork design of the second pack. I know early on Blaziken was all hype. There was lots of potential with that card. Trico starts the second pack. Skitty. Spinrack. Bagon. Another Bagon. Fighting type energy. Underground expedition. Minior. Combuskin. Reverse all of Shellgon and Uncommon. And the final card would be a Lunala. And this is a rare hollow. Set this one aside. Usually, and I have been told by a tournament director before that the build and battle boxes do not have very good pull rates on the inside. I have experienced that firsthand. Of course, I have also seen several pre-release kits with pretty amazing pulls. And for the most part, products like this are pretty random. Shincho starts the third pack. Onyx. Bagon. Bellsprout. Fanpy, Fairy Type Energy, Energy Recycle System, Shrine of Punishment, one of the better stadium cards out there, Acrobike, Reverse Hollow, of Aminectric, doing very well with Reverse Hollows as rares, Tune Up, and the final card would be a Rayquaza GX, and this is a GX Full Art. It's one of the better cards in the set, Stormy Winds, Accelerates Energy into Play, potentially, and then Dragon Break, can do major damage. Of course, this card was used quite a bit with Vicavolt from Sun and Moon Base Set. That card is no longer in the standard format for the 1920 season. Final pack. And what a surprise, just stating that these pre release kits normally don't have very good pulls, and then go ahead and pull one of the best cards in the set. Surf's Kit starts this one. The final pack Onyx. Clampearl, Loted, Fanpy, Darkness Type Energy, Dunsparce, Last Chance Potion, Swalot, Reverse Solo, of a Latios Prism Star, there we go. Five good cards to summarize from this build and battle box. 
and the final card would be a Metacham. So very happy with this opening overall. Besides the pre-release promo of Del Caddy, I was able to pull out two rare reverse hollow, Manectric and Exploud, one rare hollow in Lunala, one Prism Star in Latios, and easily the best pull of the opening, the Rayquaza GX Full Art. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.